If Britain were under imminent threat from nuclear weapons, how would you react? I would do everything I can to ensure that any threat is actually dealt with earlier on by negotiations and by talks. So that we do adhere to our obligations under the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. That we do encourage China in its work in trying to bring about six-party talks in uh, resolving the issue in North Korea. And we do follow the lead that President Obama took in doing a deal with Iran which would result in them not developing the nuclear capability. I think the idea of anyone ever using a nuclear weapon anywhere in the world is utterly appalling and terrible. It would result in the destruction of the lives and communities and environment for millions of people. And so I would be actively engaged to ensure that danger didn't come about. I would also be very aware of other dangers that we face. Cyber attacks hit our National Health Service a couple of weeks ago. The dreadful terrorist attack in Manchester indicates the danger of individual acts of terrorism that can take lives. We have to be secure here. We have to protect our society and our country, but we also have to engage in the rest of the world to make sure we don't have huge ungoverned spaces such as in Libya, which can become the basis of some terrible events that are going to take the lives of many other people. We have to deal with those issues here and globally. That is the function of a responsible government. Your, your, um, <laughs> your, party, your party is committed to renewing Trident. Are you yes. saying there are no circumstances in which you'd use a nuclear weapon? I'm saying that our party has committed to renewing Trident. That was a decision taken by a party conference and indeed taken by Parliament. I would view the idea of having to use a nuclear weapon as something that was result resulting in a failure in the whole world's diplomatic system. There has to be no first use, there has to be a process of engagement to bring about, ultimately, global nuclear disarmament. It's not going to happen quickly, it's not going to happen easily, but we have to have that wish. You cannot countenance a world in which we could all be destroyed by nuclear war. You say no first use and you wouldn't use, you wouldn't push the button. Uh, in a first use. In retaliatory use, would you use well, nuclear weapons that your the party weapon, is The weapon is there, is, is and reviving? I would say no first use of the weapon, and I think that has to be the basis on what we do. Adam, does that answer your question? Do you want to come back on it? I find it incredibly concerning that you, you wouldn't ever commit, commit to doing that. It's our safety that we need to look out first and foremost in your government. But what, what particularly annoys me is that Trident isn't just for, heaven forbid, a potential Corbyn government. It goes long beyond that. Um, you know, many, many decades into the future. So when you're making the decision whether to support this or not, it's not just for right here, right now, it's threats that we can face in the future. Fair point. But we have to do everything we can, obviously to protect ourselves, but the best protection is having good and reasonable relationships with the rest of the world so we don't descend into a mentality where there are military blocks starting threatening each other. And I'm utterly determined to do everything I can to bring about a more peaceful world. I've spent a lot of my life with UN and other organisations trying to bring about principle, no first use, principles of disarmament and principles of bringing about peace around the world. That surely is something we can all work for. I think we have to recognise that um, there is deep, deep inequality and injustice in the world, but the threats are, as I said, a cyber security and terrorism. Mm. The other threats are actually of environmental disaster around the world and large numbers of people fleeing from environmental disaster, in effect environmental refugees, which is why I was so disappointed in President Trump's decision, particularly in view of what had been achieved by people working together to try and protect and sustain this planet. We've only got one planet. Let's get together when we live on it, and above all, let's not destroy it. Can we just come... <laughs> Can we just come back to the nuclear issue? You are Prime Minister. You've said you would have no first use. You wouldn't countenance Britain's nuclear deterrent, which your party is restoring, rebuilding, maintaining. You wouldn't have a first use. And it raises the question, he said, under direct attack, would you use it in retaliation. As well, Prime Minister, you're speaking to the country about what you would do with the most expensive defence 
weapon that we have. Are you saying you would never use it People under any circumstances? People tell me the most effective use of it is not to use it because it's there. Sorry, uh, you're dodging the question, aren't you? I'm saying, are you saying there are no circumstances Look, under which you'd use it? Any circumstances where anyone's prepared to use a nuclear weapon is disastrous for the whole planet. That is why there has to be a policy of disarmament and a, a globally but through a multilateral, multilateral policy, not a unilateral policy. But that's the ideal. But what about the reality where you are faced with the prospect that you may have to use it? <laughs> I just, I'm just asking for a simple the reality, answer. The reality is that we have to, obviously, try to protect ourselves. We would not use it as first use. And if we did use it, millions are going to die. You have to think this thing through. <laughs> I'll right. decide on the right. circumstances at the right. time. All right, no, yeah. all right. you said that you would, you, can... would you use yeah. it as second use? Or would you allow North Korea or some idiot in Iran to bomb us and then say, oh, we'd better start talking? You'd be too late. No, of You're course not. You're going to have to do it first, mate. No, of course, of course not. Of course I would not do that. Well, well, you would what... allow them to do it? Of course not. Because well, that, that, is, that is why I made the point a short time ago about the need for President Obama's agreement with Iran to be upheld. It's quite important, actually, and also to promote disarmament in Korea. That is difficult, I appreciate, but... Impossible. Well... <laughs> Impossible. All right, Ask you, the Chinese what there. they're trying to do. You up there. Yeah, you're asking a massive wish when you've got one of the biggest arsenals by your side. Um, I'd rather have it and not use it than not have it at all, especially in today's day and age. Do you want to comment on that? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, anybody? You, the woman there. Yes. Let's just stick with this, then we'll move on. Yes. Uh, um, I actually have a question regarding human rights. But All right. Just, yes, use but, your question. Just before, I, I don't understand why everyone in this room seems so keen on killing millions of people with a nuclear <laughs> <laughs>